We have got a very fun job we're going to be doing. It's a very big job. It's a ML63. It's a beautiful car. It's actually very, very clean. Uh, one thing I want to note, it has a Harman Kardon sound system from the factory. So it sounds pretty good, but I'll show you some of the stuff we're fitting. We're doing front speakers, splits, run by an MTX amp. We're changing the factory rear camera to a HD1 dash cam to work with the Kenwood DDX9020 DAB. This is an awesome unit. I think we've got a review on it. If it is, if we do have a review, it's in the top right hand corner. And we've got the fitting kit. Now, once upon a time, these did not work with the Harman Kardon sound system. So apparently it does work with it now. So we're only gonna go through the head unit installation of this car. If you wanna see any of that stuff, drop a comment below. Um, and we're gonna see if this works with the Harman Kardon sound system. If not, it's gonna make this job even bigger. If it does, awesome. Our customer is very good with his hands because he built this box on his own. Pretty cool. That's for the sub. It's got a big boy MTX amp over there. That's gonna run this. We've got a lot of zero gauge wiring here. So the other amp is gonna go in the back there. Just wanted to give you guys a little rundown and get you a look at that. Flex on the amp a bit. But for what we're doing today, we'll go to the front of the car and start pulling it apart. Okay, for removal, we're just gonna pop this out. I'm trying to get this under it so we can keep, there we go. Keep everything clean. Two Torx bits here, we're gonna remove those, pop this tray out, and then this panel here, for memory, just unclips. Okay, we'll set that somewhere safe. Then we're gonna start popping this off here, which is just clips. And some of you will have a little cavity here. If you do, just be very careful, because you know, it's easy to ruin. Okay, then you can remove that. Now what I actually did to help get this out was I went up and then out and it came out easily. That is then gonna show us two more Torx 20s. Time to get the big boy out. Once those Torx bits are out, you need to get a screwdriver and chuck it on the ledge of those and just pop it down. And these two tabs will slide right down and then you'll notice that your radio is loose and ready to be removed. There we go. There's not much going on back there. That is it, okay. Radio's out, center is pretty loose. And just having a look in there, you can start grabbing our kit, plugging stuff in, and just firstly confirming if that kit retains the air. This is the kit that will give you the connects to steering wheel control and amp retention interface, the fascia itself for the new radio, mounting hardware for the radio, uh, antenna adapter, and patch lead for steering wheel control. Now, this is a Kenwood unit, obviously. Comes with a power harness, obviously. You can hardwire it, which is what I'm gonna do now, or you can buy a Kenwood to ISO harness. So that is what an ISO harness looks like. You can go ahead and get a Kenwood to ISO, and then it will just plug in. But what we're gonna do is hardwire it. So all we've done here is just got the powers and got the powers from this side and hardwired them. So you've got constant power, ground, remote turn on is there, accessory input is there, speaker wires we've not connected because on this there's speaker wires. On the other side, which you'll see soon, there's no speaker wires. It has the fiber optic input, which will plug into this module here, comes in the kit. So one of these plugs is gonna go into you, into you, boom. And the other plug is gonna go into you, like that. 
and that's the patch lead that we looked at so that's been set up and so once that's all plugged in what I want to do is now go to the car plug it into the head unit and see if we've got sound and if we do awesome and if we don't as I just said about the speakers if you see here this side lines up with that side which is all the powers that we connected this side is empty so speaker wire is not connecting to anything and on the top side of the plug there's a little tab that's for the fiber optic input just take that out okay and then you can go ahead plug this bad boy in then where did i just put that there it is that is gonna go to this and then that's just gonna plug in like so so all we need to really do now is plug the head unit in and pray that's good isn't that a good sign? If you heard that, y'all, we might be getting somewhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're just gonna plug the radio antenna in now, and I'll tell you what one that is. Green is camera, I remember that. Blue is GPS, black is antenna. Straight on. Oh, it's working! <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay, this is awesome, guys. This is great news. See if we can pick up FM in here. You can see there's a little life drain out of their space. So. Yeah, good year for relation. That is so good. Alright guys, I am pleased to announce that Connects 2 have done their work and this works with the Harman Kardon sound system. This is wicked. Okay. We can pull this out now and continue with the installation. That's the fascia panel there. Very nice and clean. Comes with some brackets. So what you need to do is screw these brackets to the fascia with the supplied hardware. One, two, slide the radio in, screw the radio to the bracket, and that's the radio mounting done. I figured we'll do that first. Guys, get a load of that. That is wicked. And we could even put the microphone. We could even put the microphone in one of those for optimum. Optimum? For optimum. Okay, unit is ready to go back in the car. That's one of the last things we do, but it's all clean and set up, ready to go. We're gonna start fitting some of the other parts of the unit, and also this. But for now, we'll go do this. So before we go ahead and clean up this area, obviously we need to fit some more stuff. GPS antenna. You can get it above the radio cavity up in here nice and high on the dash that's what you want it'll pick up gps fine you don't need to stick it on the dash that's good to go so we'll do that two usb inputs for this unit pick where you want them you can run them into your center console into one of these little cavities here have it going by your leg chuck it in the glove box whatever you want that unit is one of the best units that they make and it does wireless carplay so you don't need these for your phone, but you do need them for other things. Instructions, always in the glove box. Digital radio, yes, it has that. That antenna goes on the window. Okay, we always go passenger side, keep it out of the way of the driver. And it just mounts up like that. They're pretty easy to mount. Microphone, like I said, if I can sneak it into that fascia, I will, which I will do. And the remote, because you always need a remote. And that is pretty much it for what's gonna be going here. I'm also gonna be running a remote wire for that amplifier that we looked at and some RCAs and some other bits and pieces, but I'll show you guys how to do the head unit. And then, yeah, that'll be it. All right, so we popped the A pillar off. Uh, it's just held in by clips, so you can literally just pop it right off. But I'm not gonna lie, these are the two clips here and they are extremely tight, so pull with force. Use the force, as some would say. Um, we've stuck on the dab antenna little sticker, so now we're just going to chuck the antenna on. So that's pretty easy. Just got some double-sided on it. All right, once you spend 10 years getting the double-sided tape off, you're going to go that way. 
Okay, it's got a little pin on it. The pin touches the metal, and then you just run this black part over, and then it grounds right there. Beautiful. And then this will tape up and run to the head unit. Oh yeah, we also pulled the glove box out. That is only one, two, three, and four screws. It's gonna make your life a lot easier running cabling. If you're gonna put the USBs in the glove box, you can do that. We're gonna be doing some speaker work as well, which is why I've got that out. You don't have to remove the glove box, it's just better if you do. Okay, so what we've done so far, we plugged in our powers as you've seen. If you're doing a head unit installation, all you need to do is pretty much do exactly what we did. Hardwire your powers or go ahead and get that plug. Plug it all in, do your powers, run your microphone. We did get the mic in that little spot there. It took some modification to the microphone, so be very careful or just run it in the roof lining. We did a dash cam as well, so we didn't film that. And we did the DAV antenna. That panel goes straight back on, just line those two clips up, it's ready to go. We've also run a reverse camera that's uh, something that we're not doing in this video as well. But now, we're pretty much ready to go back together. So, the dash cam is actually made by Kenwood. It's for Kenwood unit, so it has a little dash cam plug right there. And then you've got a dashy RCA, boom. Then we've got a rear view RCA, boom. Okay, and then we've got, where's our antenna? So we've mounted all the modules here. We've neatened up all the wiring. Got our two RCAs, so that's for the ones for the subwoofer that we've added, or about to add. The others for the front speakers, and then the other two that are left go to the rears. We'll do that at the end because they're pretty short. Okay. USBs. GPS antenna, don't forget that one. There's a lot of plugs here, so make sure you take your time. Okay. All right, once you've got everything plugged in, you're pretty much good to start feeding some of that cabling back out of the way. And you can look at trying to get this in. And look at that. Very nice. Okay, that sits in there really, really nicely. It'll sit even better like that once we screw it up. Now we'll do some basic testing first before we go too far. Right, that's a good sign, that's a good sign. Okay, so you can see we've got sound and radios all working. Basically, if you're up to this point, you're pretty much good to go back together. Just test all your features out first. We're gonna, so you can see the front speakers, everything's working. We're gonna go to the amp, remove the front speakers from the amp, run them to our new amplifier, and like I said, we've already run the cabling for the input. Um, we'll do another video on that in the future. That's gonna be a big in-depth video, but for now, we're pretty much good to go back together. Check your steering wheel controls, okay? They're all working here. It's very important, okay? You don't, the last thing, it's the worst, it's happened to me before. You get everything back together, you're happy, and you go, ah, shit. Steering wheel control, okay? So test everything. All right guys, the car is not 100% back together but because we're doing some more work to this vehicle, but the head unit side of things is done. So if you're watching for the head unit, there it is. Everything is in and working. This exact unit here, we're not gonna do a full run through because I said earlier we might have a, I'm pretty sure we have a review on it. It's got Apple CarPlay and wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, wired Android Auto, digital radio, AM, FM, has a, CD as well, so if you want to go ahead and put CDs in there, this is one of Kenwood's I guess you'll call it premium units. It's got pretty much everything. The dash cam works through it. Check this out. Let's go apps Try and find it first setting for the dash camera just so if anyone that does this themselves you want to go menu setup camera and then you can change the camera settings in camera assignment settings. So basically what's gonna happen now, you just go camera, rear camera when it's connected will show you rear, front camera, boom, that's our dash cam right there, okay? So that's showing you what the dash cam is recording, which is pretty cool. Um, 
And that is pretty much the unit, guys. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below. If you want to reach out to us, it's www.shoptfb.com. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one.